Guys, do you know what time it is? Uh, direct time? Well, not not yet, Derek. It's predictions oh. time for the Nintendo Direct. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm just ready for it. I can't help it. <laughs> That's fair enough. You're probably more ready for it than I am. I literally just woke up. I was like frantically throwing together predictions. I'm like, oh crap, here we go. <laughs> so we are here to give all our predictions. We are, of course, joined by Derek, Ash, and John. So I want to start off with a question, guys. And I don't want any specifics yet. But do you think Smash Brothers is going to appear in this Direct? Because we just had the Smash Direct not that long ago. A whole Direct dedicated to Smash. Is it time for more Smash already? It's yes. always time for yes. more Smash. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Yes, I like, always. I like where this is going. But we're going to pull the <laughs> supermarket model and we're going to like put it in the back like the milk. So we'll come back to the Smash later. <laughs> uh, for now, I want to discuss what I think um, what I think we all think will be there. And also real quick, I should mention, Nintendo announced that this Direct will cover both Nintendo 3DS as well as Switch. Or I should say Nintendo Switch as well as 3DS. Um, it will be 35 minutes long. So that kind of uh, so that's actually a lot of time to work with. Although the 3DS is kind of unfortunately eating into some of that. <laughs> All right, but I think one of the big things that's going to be in this direct, I guess, is my first prediction. Um, it's not going to be a novel one though. Is that Nintendo is going to be talking about the Nintendo Online Subscription Service? After all, we know it's launching sometime in the second half of the month. Uh, we don't know exactly when, so I'm sure we'll get a release date here. And hopefully we'll find out some more details about it, if there's anything more to be known. Um, I, I do think there'll be at least one surprise uh, related to it that we don't yet know about in order to entice people to, uh, to, to subscribe. And to go along with that, I think it's going to have some kind of perk uh, that you'll get for subscribing, whether it's... I don't know, an early digital bonus, like a game, I'm not sure, but there's going to be some kind of perk to entice you to subscribe right away. Mm -hmm. And we also have those data mine controllers, the NES controllers, so I wonder if they're going to reveal them there as well. And there's also 10 NES games they haven't actually specified yet, so there's a lot more to go on in that area. Urban Champion! Yeah, I was yep. going to say, what <laughs> 10 NES games could they announce that really excite us? <laughs> uh -huh. Pinball! I don't think pinball's been confirmed yet, right? So, no, ice hockey. I don't think ice, so. Online pinball ice hockey, I'm confirmed. telling you, man. Well, actually, kind of uh, piggybacking off of that, Andre, because uh, of that data mine that happened where, with the Super NES controller icons leaking, I'm kind of prepared to predict that we may get a surprise lineup of some Super Nintendo games as well for Nintendo Switch Online. So I, th I think I'm going to make that my first official prediction, actually, and say that we may, maybe Nintendo's been working on a small lineup of Super Nintendo games for this Nintendo Switch Online launch as well, and that they may get announced during this Direct. I hope you're right. It should be clarified that the icon looks more like a a uh, classic controller, um, but that right. is basically a Super Nintendo controller. So right. Mm -hmm. um, so I hope you're right because here's the thing: right now, no one gives a crap about this online service. <laughs> no one exactly. cares. Um, yeah. And in fact, it's hilarious that Nintendo's been teasing. Like, so there've been some rumblings of a drag for a little while. I mean, I think there always are, but. Uh, but every time, like, there's a, uh, a new tweet from Nintendo, people are like, oh, here's a Direct in some, like, Nintendo online, you know, some old NES game they can play online tweets. It's like, hey, you can now play Mario Brothers from the arcades online. It's like, no one cares. Where's the Direct? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think Nintendo really needs to get something out there to excite people for it. And, and my fear is that we know everything about it besides the release date. That's my worry. Um, <laughs> but I, I do think that there has to be something more there, just because... You know, no one cares, and you know maybe that's maybe Nintendo's fine with that because they don't really need people to care. They just need people to pay to play online, and we know that Smash Brothers will be enough once that comes out. But uh, yeah, do you think there'll be anything else enticing about it, guys? I think maybe some online games might have some like neat extras, like if you pay for online, then you get some new costumes in Splatoon, or like maybe you get pink gold Mario and Mario Kart or something like that. <laughs> just something very small. Pink old Mario will be a slap in the face. <laughs> right. Uh, absent my my prediction coming true, I'm kind of worried that that really is kind of it. That I, I'm really hoping my prediction is right because if it isn't, I kind of don't think there's going to be anything else extra that's going to entice us mm -hmm. into Nintendo Switch Online. I, I'm leaning more towards Ash. Like that, that, there's really like what we're seeing is what we're getting. I think it's not really much more than that. Like maybe they'll surprise us with something. I kind of doubt it. But I also thought, like, you know, I wonder if, like, talking about Super Nintendo games or an early Super Nintendo game to entice you for later Super Nintendo games, wouldn't it be something if they had the original Super Mario Kart online where each, like, eight players online? Mm -hmm. That would be pretty cool to see a game retrofitted to have that. Like, that would actually be pretty neat, but mm -hmm. I don't necessarily expect that. No, I don't expect it at all. Yeah. I'm just going into crazy predictions already. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> just, yeah. Seeing what we could get, but yeah, I, as far as what 
the online service is going to offer. We'll get, I think we'll get the other 10 games, we'll get a release date, and that'll be it. Because I really don't think they have anything major beyond that. It doesn't feel like it at all. I, I, I get that completely, and I think maybe they'll try and emphasize the price, because it is quite low in price, and we know there's going to be like a family bundle. So I reckon they're going to keep pressing that price in our face and being like, <laughs> like it costs so little, just pay it, there's nothing more. It's just a very budget, very small service. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I fear you guys are probably right, but, you know, I'm hoping out, I'm hoping there's something more. Because they did tease at some point that there was a little bit more to be known, I think, but that might have been before they announced a few other things that no one cared about either. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just feel like there has to be something more, especially with, like, with the timing of this direct. They can't just reveal, re-reveal the same information they already have a few times now. Um, I think there has to be something more, so I just wonder, you know, what exactly it could well, be. The only thing else that I can think of that's not directly related to the online service is a big online game. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm not sure what that would be. Um, yeah. Because we already Smash would yeah. be it for me. That's why I predicted for so long that Smash would come out in September is because it would be that big online game. But what else would it actually fit that role? All right. Well, you know what? Let me go into my next prediction here. It's not directly right, related, then. but I'm going to shoehorn it in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there have been rumblings for a little while now of of new Super Mario Bros. U coming to the Switch in deluxe form. I think we're going to see it in this Direct. I think it's about time. It's probably coming out this year. I'd say it's almost definitely coming out this year. It's going to be like one of those filler titles. And what if, what if that's a game that has online? What if it's the same game oh. with some perks, oh, now with online oh. co-op? I mean, that actually that, might excite me for the game because the four of us could play together. <laughs> that would be cool. Oh, to that'd be so good. My only problem is Super Mario Party kind of has online, but it doesn't really, and that's kind of a less intensive game than you Super Mario Bros. U for online. It does not get any more intense than Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I don't, I don't know if they will, but I would love that so much. Actually, one thing I'd love to see in, um, in Mario U Deluxe is to see Luigi U have like a unique overworld. Because while the levels in Luigi U were amazing, it kind of felt a bit weird going back through the same overworld again. And I'd love for them just to redesign it and have like a new story or something going on behind it. That'd be right. cool. So do you guys so do you guys also think we'll get New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe in this Direct? And also, yeah. when do you think it's coming, if so? Yes. Uh, I reckon it's coming in October. Uh, like, late October. That sounds about right. Either that or, like, early November. I almost wonder that might make more sense, because uh, we already have Super, uh, Super Mario Party coming out in early October. Yeah, so late October, I think, does f does feel like mm. it would make sense for that game, should it be revealed during the Direct. And for the record, I do agree with you, Andre. I, that was on, on my predictions list as well. I do totally think that's happening. Totally, yeah. because there's toads in it, including probably two uh -huh. toads. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense to have it on there, so I agree with all of you as well. Totally. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll piggyback off that to say that uh, because this is Nintendo's assumedly big direct going into the holiday and fall season, just to highlight the big Switch releases coming up, I do. Th this is kind of a safe prediction, but I do think we're going to get somewhat extended segments on Super Mario Party, Diablo 3, and The World Ends With You Final Remix. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to highlight all three of those in the direct and... You know, just flesh them out a bit more and, and get people, you know, try to drum up some excitement for them. Oh, absolutely. We're going to get a big chunk on Super Mario Party, I think. Because they had yeah. a uh, video recently where they pl where they showed all the classic board game on the Japanese YouTube channel. But we haven't seen any of that outside of that context. So that would be a great way to expose it to a, uh, you know, to a wider audience. And that would get people super excited to see the classic gameplay return. Oh, heck yeah, it would. I exactly. Just, that's all I need to hear. Like, I, like, if you're buying stars and you can steal other people's stars, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, speaking of stuff that were just known quantities, I, I, let's get 3DS out of the way because I think we're going to get a little segment on Luigi's Mansion, a little segment on Bowser's Inside Story, and maybe a new 3DS game, but... I think the 3DS section is literally just going to be, hey, here's Luigi, <laughs> hey, here's Mario and Luigi, and let's move on. I reckon we get one more. Mm -hmm. um, Persona Q2 so. is quite a big 3DS game, and that's only come out, coming out in Japan at the moment, so yeah, I reckon we get a localization for that game too. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. I kind, of, I kind of think there is going to be at least a new 3DS game, maybe even two. I don't think they're just going to lean on the two they've already announced. What's it going to be, though? My thought actually was John's as well, Persona Q2. That's really the like the big 3DS game I'm thinking of that has not been announced for a localization yet. So mm -hmm. that's the one I had in mind. Or something we don't even know about. Like maybe one full retail game and then one, you know, like little one-off eShop project or something like that. I could totally maybe. see an eShop thing, yeah. 
Yeah. It's been mostly ports, though, so it's, I, mm. I'd have to think of something ported to the 3DS from Nintendo, because WarioWare is mostly original, but it's still a lot of using, using a lot of the old games. Luigi, Mario, and Luigi, like, still working off ports, so what would fit that bill? I keep well, thinking Paper Mario, because they yeah, got the Sticker say. Star engine. Um, and they could easily make remake the first one, Thousand Year Door, or Color Splash in that engine. And um, I think Color Splash actually makes more sense thinking about it, because that's a dual screen game. And where else can you really remake that other than on another dual screen device? I mean, that's true, and it's, I actually think 3D would look pretty cool, but I don't think we're going to find out about another Paper Mario coming up before we get, or another Mario RPG coming up before we, before we get Bowser's Inside Story. That's true. Yeah, and I feel I like it wouldn't sense. take that much to rework Paper Mario Color Splash for a Switch port, which I kind of feel like is more likely. Not necessarily during this direct, but just at some point in the future. Is the 3DS powerful enough to run that that game's amazing script? It's <laughs> <laughs> hard it to say. say. Amazing. Yeah, I I'll make a prediction here. I think we'll find out um, a little bit more about Luigi's Mansion, like something that's actually different about this game, because so far it seems to be pretty much an exact port, minus a new boss rush mode and like a redesigned gallery. I think we may see a uh, the scare scraper mode from Dark Moon lifted, maybe Ooh. retooled a little bit and brought into the original game. Um, basically, a multiplayer, like a competitive multiplayer game like that. Um, although now, now I'm thinking about it, a co a cooperative version of the main game would also be amazing. I don't think we'll get that, <laughs> but I think we'll get like some kind of cooperative. Either we could get, get like a cooperative spin-off mode as well. So. Do you think there's a chance we'll get a, a another new 3DS? Because it has been a little while since the last one, so <laughs> uh, it's time I mean, for the new it's time for the new 3DS Mini. <laughs> <laughs> if, if anything, I feel like it would be yet another iteration on the 2DS because I feel like these days they're mostly pushing the 2DS XL over the actual 3D component of, of the platform. Oh yeah, that's so been I the case like for a while now. feel like it would just be now. a new new 2DS XL or something, but I hope not. God, I'm so sick of re redesigns <laughs> of those of those of that family of handhelds. Right. All right. Uh, another prediction, guys. I need uh, need something else here. Um, I think the wave three or wave three of the Kirby Star Allies DLC is going to get detailed and probably get a release date. I disagree. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Well, the way they re the way they revealed the second wave, I think they're probably going to go along with that because it kept hype going. They kept showing a little bit more, a little bit more. Like we might get a tease for the next one, but I feel like it's a little too soon for more Star Allies yet. Huh. All right. Mm. I know. It kind of felt like the right time to me, but you also were the one covering the, the Wave Two DLC for Kirby Star Allies, so I certainly the the build up to Wave Two I think lasted like three or four months. <laughs> it actually did. It, yeah. I don't know. I just if, it, you're right. Did that that the lead up time was longer. It just feels like that game is becoming less and less relevant by the month, and it feels like October, like mid October, might be like a nice cozy time with not much going on. For them to release that, but perhaps, uh, you know. be, hey, I'd be down for it. I just like I can't. I, right. I mean, I just more see them keeping sticking to their guns because people did have a lot of fun. People really did get into the like, which character is this? Which like we kind of know the characters because of data mine, but like, which character is this going to be that they're actually right. revealing, and how are they going to be set up? And they st were still able to get surprises out of us despite knowing those leaks. Right, mm -hmm. right. Well, I'm going to piggyback the uh, DLC idea, and I guess I'm going to tie it back into my idea earlier of maybe there being some kind of like a, uh, early exclusive content for the Nintendo Online service to entice you, or maybe not even, ex well, I guess it would have to be exclusive if it's online. I don't know, but I'm going to tie it into that. Maybe some way to get people excited for Nintendo Online is to introduce, finally, more actual proper DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We've been seeing the game get all kinds Whoa. of updates for Labo. Uh, it's been more active now than it has at all in the past year or so. Um, I think this game is still vibrant. I think Nintendo realizes like they can leverage that game to better entice people to Nintendo Online. Like, what if they introduce like I don't know a new battle map? What if there's Block Fort here, and the only way to play it oh. is by subscribing to Nintendo Online? <laughs> oh, that's so evil. <laughs> that, would be, that would be really, really evil. Man, I want that to be, but at the same time, I want that to be true because right? I want more DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe so badly, like proper DLC too. Yeah, exactly. Like new tracks and such, but I don't know if I think it's going to happen. I think it's whether it's a new new main track or a new battle track. Like I'll be excited either way. Just give me something new to play with, but beyond Labo controls. Yeah, and plus we had like Breath of the Wild content in there with Link. I think it's time to have some Odyssey on, on content in there too, and have like Pauline, Paul or like a New Donk City Lee. track or something like oh, that. Man. Pauline does make sense as a DLC character for Mario Kart. God, I would That'd love, be awesome. I would love a New Donk City track. Put Pauline like right next to Donkey Kong on the character select screen. That'd be perfect. <laughs> that, that would be great. great. 
I think a Mario Odyssey track would be amazing in this mm -hmm. game. So like maybe a circuit even. That would, actually, there you yeah, go. A yeah. Mario Ooh. Odyssey circuit. You're traveling around the world, oh, baby. That, that would be, be so cool. Good. Give, me, give me that alongside a Kirby cup and I'll be so happy. Yeah, because each one had two cups anyway, right? So that would kind right. of make sense. Yeah. yeah. I kind of hope we start seeing more Odyssey content embraced by the spin-offs too. Like if you have like Mario Golf Odyssey, like you're golfing in like the um, in Yudong City, or on like the, on the moon, or on, like the darker side of the moon, or <laughs> all those other kingdoms. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's been kind of weird because we've had Mario Party and Mario Tennis, and neither of them have referenced Odyssey in any shape or form. Right. And the only spin-off to really have it is Smash with the Yudong City um, stage. So I really want to see more Odyssey in these spin-offs. That'd be great. I'm right there mm. with you. All right, guys. Any other predictions be it b before we get to Smash? I've got a few ideas for some collections. So one of them we've kind of talked about for a while, which is a Castlevania collection, because Halloween is coming oh, up, yes. and there are so many that people out so there who great. want to play Castlevania have not had a, have not had a chance to play it, and the Castlevania hype is at its highest it's been in years with like the series, the Smash characters. It is time just to get a proper collection out there and have games in this that have never been on Switch or a Nintendo platform before, like Symphony of the Night and Rondo of Blood and just all these m amazing games that people haven't really had a chance to play before. Just get them out there and put them on Switch. That makes complete uh, sense. I would love that. And yeah, with Halloween coming up, that's a good point. I, I really hope you're right with that one, John. I really want you to be. And you're right about the hype being there. That I've had some of the, my best numbers for streams in recent times because of streaming those Castlevania games, and I'm still early on and not even getting to the really popular stuff yet. So, yeah, I think people are just interested in Castlevania before because they hear this music for the first time and they're like, holy crap, that's really good. I've never experienced this series before. I want to see more of this. And to actually have a chance to see where Simon and Richter came from, I think that could... Like, it, it would behoove Konami to actually do that. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of uh, collections, John, I'll hop off of that for an, uh, another uh, prediction. Uh, I think this might be our chance to actually have Spyro Reignited Trilogy announced for the Nintendo Switch. Since uh -huh. it was delayed, that we makes might sense. actually get it along with everybody else now. Yeah, yeah. I, I really want that too. Um, did they ever actually specify what's going on with the file size for that? Because I, I, I know most Switch games are ridiculously, ridiculously compressed, like Wolfenstein and Crash, but um, Spyro seems to be like 40 gigabytes, so I wonder how that's going to uh, work out for that game. It's hard to say, but it's also... like I, I do truly feel that the delay of that game was because they just wanted to get the other games on the disc for PS4, so mm -hmm. maybe that gives them time to work on the compression for the Switch version as well. Yeah, um, there's too much smoke around this game too. Like Nintendo <laughs> had it on their store. Um, the actual Spyro site had Switch on there. <laughs> so yeah. if it's not happening, I'll, I'll be shocked. Well, speaking mm. of trilogies, I am going to predict we are going to get the Secret of Mana collection finally. Oh, oh. really? Yep. Please, I'm going in. Please. We had Square has been Man. giving Nintendo such great support, uh, specifically on the Switch. Um, I think I think we I think it might be time. Like we this so, game's been out in Japan for for a while now. A year. Mm -hmm. I like the way you think. <laughs> I know you The do. main problem there, though, is one of these games hasn't been localized, so they'd have to localize it for the first time, which would be a huge selling point for the collection. Well, that but... explains a year delay, right? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> <No>, true. <laughs> um, one thing I will predict is that, and it kind of goes it goes along with the all the year recent predictions, is the fact that I do think this is going to primarily focus on big name titles, and I expect to see very few, if any, indie titles at all, because they've had those mm -hmm. recent indie focus directs as well. I think probably to get them out of the way so they can wipe the slate clean and have this one focused on really big name titles. Oh, but the 3DS is still there, Ash. Well, you know, big name titles <laughs> for the 3DS, but you know what I yeah. mean. <laughs> well, speaking of big name titles, um, I'd love to see some more Resident Evil games. We've had Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 since last November, and there's been nothing since then. And Capcom have done Okami, they've done Mega Man, they've done Street Fighter, oh but they have God. not brought a single other Resident Evil game to Switch. Oh, you must be speaking of only what must be one of the best games of all time, Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> I just want four. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play it for the 16th time. Like, I feel yeah, like it's just gladly. a matter of time. Yeah. It'd be so yeah. amazing because you could support the Wii style controls of the Joy-Con and the GameCube <laughs> controls of the GameCube adapter. Oh, yes. OMG. And it'd be portable for the first time. And yeah. don't mention that mobile one. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. I guess we'll probably... 
actually, you you spoke of Mega Man. Um, we'll likely get maybe a, a name for a new Robot Master during the uh, direct as well. But I also think demo. Ah, oh, yeah, I right. Think it's, we've heard about this demo, and this would be the perfect time to release a demo after this. Yeah, I, that, that was actually that's kind of a half prediction I, I made, Derek. I didn't go in the demo angle, but I did think that maybe because. Mega Man's unofficial homes does seem to be Nintendo, that there would be a little segment focused on Mega Man 11 and talking about mm -hmm. the upcoming launch, perhaps revealing a new Robot Master. But I didn't take the demo angle, so I'm combining that with yours to just say, overall, I do think that Mega Man 11 is going to have a presence during the Direct. Mm -hmm. Well, Ash, do we know what the Amiibo does in Mega Man 11? We don't yet. Well, there you go. Maybe yeah, I know. That could be a perfect... Yeah. yeah, talk about the Mega Man 11 Amiibo edition and see what that does. Hopefully it's not just unlocking extra challenges in the various challenge modes, kind of like in uh, the Legacy Collections. I'm hoping it's something a little more significant than that. Mm -hmm. And we're actually in the, um, in the time of year where they usually announce mini systems, where the NES Mini and the SNES Mini were announced um, both around this time last year and the year before that. So I wonder if maybe it's time for N64 Mini or Game Boy Mini. Oh god, <laughs> that, oh man. Oh, you're gonna be excited, man. I hope you're right. <laughs> I'm gonna I kinda think, yeah. I'm gonna say no. I think they're gonna hold off at least another year on that. Uh, to, because we saw the re-release. I think we saw the re-release of both classic systems this year, right? We did, so yeah. So I think they may just be riding those through into the sunset for another year. Um, and I think we'll get 64 next year. But I truly, truly hope I'm wrong on that. Because that would be fantastic this year. Especially because it could have... Uh, uh, Super Smash Brothers on it as well, so we get the one-two punch of two of the best Smash oh, Brothers. Yes, right? oh, that, be that would be great. Oh, man. Although I will say that that if that does happen, I wouldn't expect the N64 Classic to see a launch until maybe spring of next year or something like that. Yeah. That sounds fair. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, okay. So I mean, I, I if we get its Classic, I think it will be near the end of the year, like it has been for most of them, at least in the second half. I don't think they're going to change that, unless I'm misremembering. I think they both launched in the second half of the year. They, they did, yeah. and actually, yeah, it, 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 it does make sense because they are, they are really cheap systems, and they're kind of like stocking fillers almost. True prediction, regardless of when it happens, the 64 Classic will be the most expensive one yet, oh, yeah. and it'll have the least games yet. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. it'll definitely have yeah. the least games yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have two more predictions: one super uh -huh. safe one, and one going all in. So should I do okay. them both? Do, do the safe yeah. one first. All right, so my, my super safe one is that we're going to get a segment focused on blowing out Xenoblade 2's uh, DLC segment. Or, sorry, mm -hmm. DLC. So I yeah. do think we're going to get something focused on Torna the Golden Country, just talking about the story, the battle system, just the overall scenario, and just, you know, kind of informing people about the DLC, the fact that it's coming, etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, that makes complete sense. All right, here, here's, I'm going in. I, I don't know if it's completely off the wall, but I'm going in on it, and that's that I think they might tease Animal Crossing for Switch. Oh, yeah! It, it's past time. It's so been you, you, time. You say for Animal Crossing. Do you think it's not going to be coming anytime soon? I don't. I don't expect it until at least like spring of next year. I don't think they. I, certainly not this year. It would definitely mm -hmm. be a 2019 title. And they and the direct does not say they're only focusing on titles for 2018. The direct that description. True. So that's oh, why that's I'm thinking really we good might. Point. Yeah, I'm thinking we might get a tease for at least one next year game, and I think that next year game might be Animal Crossing. God, it's tough uh -huh. because I feel like I feel like Animal Crossing isn't the game you tease. <laughs> you, yeah. you, you just kind of show Fair it enough. off. Yeah, so sure. I, and they could still do that. Uh, maybe we'll get a more in-depth look at it. Uh, and I guess I mean Nintendo's been so historically focused on just the games coming up, and they already had some big ones between Let's Go, Smash Brothers, Mario Party. Um, and potentially new Super Mario Bros. U. I don't know if they'd want to advertise Animal Crossing yet, but again, you know, I hope you're right. That'd be that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah it would know. be. I mean, I guess along those lines with stuff coming in 2019, since Ash pointed out, they're not limiting themselves to just 2018, at least to what they're saying. We might actually see more of Bayonetta 3 and Metroid Prime 4. Oh. Bayonetta 3. Yeah, it could be time. Because we saw nothing of it before, even though we did a... Uh, pretty lengthy analysis for it <laughs> despite that <laughs> um, that'd be cool I think it'd be when did I mean, stop this it's been what has it been six months or so since we found out, found out about it or it was the, it was the game awards it's almost been a yeah. year almost a year yeah. alright we're definitely yeah. seeing Bayonetta 3 I'm going in on that <laughs> I'm going in on that prediction I actually yeah. kind of think we don't we might not see it only because I feel like it still might be in very early development I don't know I just get the sense that development's moving along quite slowly on that game but if, it, if it's been what nine months now true, I mean that's true. that's a fair amount of time so yeah it could mm -hmm. be just another teaser trailer that's true yeah. 
Um, do you guys reckon that we'll have one game that releases directly after the presentation? Because I have one in mind, but I, I'm wondering if you guys have a similar um, thought. Mm. Stone Race FX2, yes, I'm there with you, John. <laughs> exactly. <Jeez>. <laughs> <laughs> Not a full game, just that demo for Mega Man. Uh-huh. All right, so my, my prediction is actually a little bit out there. Um, I think we will get a Final Fantasy game in this Direct, but... Ooh. Uh, I think they are going to release Final Fantasy VII, the PlayStation 1 version, directly after the presentation. Wow. So that is a game that has never been on a Nintendo platform, and Square Enix have just set up their own division for Switch ports. So I think they're going to be porting pretty much every Final Fantasy to this system. Uh, and also, I also think they're going to be bringing the Bravely Default games to this system. But I think they're just going to be announcing Final Fantasy VII today, and it will launch directly after the Direct. That is a wild prediction, man. That is yeah. quite out there, <laughs> but I would love for you to be right. And, to, and it will be the only version of Final Fantasy VII anyone will play for the next decade, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, true. And, you, and John, you saying, uh, you know, you suggesting they might bring Bravely Default and Bravely Second, that does call to mind the fact that they have recently teased what could be an image for a Bravely Third. I'm not saying uh, that I'm predicting mm. that's going to appear during the direct, but you know, following Octopath Traveler, they did release that art that that hints at another Bravely Default game. So, possibly, maybe, but I kind of think that if and when Bravely Third does come, it's going to be a little later on and not get re not get announced this soon after Octopath Traveler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I I can totally see some more uh, Square games coming. Like we might get. Uh, a U.S. release for Dragon Quest Builders 2 since we know when the Japanese release is coming. So I think that's a possibility. Um, and who knows, with Dragon Quest XI launching, we might finally get a time frame for that, or at least a little tease that, hey, it is still coming. It is it's still all around. What, what about the Western Square games, like Tomb Raider? I, I don't expect Shadow of the Tomb Raider, but the very first Tomb Raider reboot was on NVIDIA Shield, which is very similar technology to Switch. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe we'll get something like that. Me. The only... The only counterpoint I have to that is the fact that I did an interview recently for Shadow of the Tomb Raider with the developers, and I specifically asked about the Switch. And this this interview should be going up in the channel at some point, so keep an eye out for it if you're interested. But they said that they are not focused on Switch at all. Now, of course, they're not going to tell me, hey, yeah, we're working on, you know, Tomb Raider Switch behind the scenes. <laughs> but I did get the sense that they're very much laser focused on finishing Shadow. So... Mm -hmm. That's my only counterpoint to that, but of course, hey, they could be working on it behind the scenes, and they certainly wouldn't have told me if they were. Absolutely. Um, I'll, I'll go with uh, my safe than crazy predictions, because I'm, I'm starting to wind down on, on mine. Uh, we'll probably get a, a little bit of Pokemon Let's Go news. I don't know exactly what, but we'll probably get something Pokemon I want you to predict exactly what. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, come on. But, um, the exact order of the scene. Design the, the Pokemon right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to see what... Uh, we've worked our way up to uh, Surge. We'll probably see uh, Erica, er Erica next. I think okay. she was the fourth gym leader. Uh, so we'll probably see up to Erica. <laughs> Mine. I I'll accept that. <laughs> okay. Uh, for my crazy one, well, November of last year, we got some... Um, Support from both Bethesda and Rockstar. So I'm trying to think of like a Bethesda game, another port of a Bethesda game they could make a way over uh. since we still have a ways to wait for um, Doom Eternal. So maybe it's time for Fallout on Switch. I don't know oh. which Fallout, but Fallout Switch. Uh, and also for Rockstar, uh, probably Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead, the original Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. I think there, there were there were rumors that Red Dead Redemption was getting a remaster like a, like a year ago. Right, there were. And mm -hmm. that, that could totally happen on Switch and other systems. And it's kind of not unheard of for the Switch to debut games. Like the Dark Souls remaster, while it's multi-platform, uh, debuted in a direct. So I wonder if maybe Red Dead is on the cards. Hmm. That'd, be, that'd be really cool. I, that's actually one of my favorite of their games. So that'd, I'd be totally down that. I could see that, or a Grand Theft Auto game, like GTA 4 or 3, being like, I could totally see that happening at some point. If not in this Direct at some point, but perhaps, yeah. That's a good point about that like late year support from Bethesda and other Western devs. Yeah, at this point, I pretty much expect Bethesda's entire back catalog to end up on Switch at some point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I love how, um, throughout all of this, none of us have said the word Yoshi. And Yoshi does have a game coming out. We haven't oh, heard man. about it at all since last E3. I just want to take... Been... Oh, go oh, ahead. Sorry. But finish your thought, oh, We haven't heard about it at all since last um, E3. And the only thing we have heard 
is that it's been delayed. So <laughs> I don't expect to see it. We, we've kind of just forgotten about it. And I want to take full credit for the fact I called that delay. I'm like, yeah, it's not happening this year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we all called that delay. I was like, that's not happening. No, you guys are bandwagoners. <laughs> I called it first and you all hopped on. But you know what? I'm still not feeling it. I still don't think no. we're going to see it this this in this direct. So I yeah. think they're going to sit on that until either closer to the end of the year or early next year and show it off. Um, I just think, I mean, honestly, I think it's just not a good time for it, too. I mean, regardless of where it is in development, I don't think people are going to be that excited about it, especially if, um, I mean, it depends what they, you know, what they show, too. So I don't want to, like, presume we know exactly what the game may be. It may look completely different now. But especially if they're going to be announcing, if they announce, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, I don't see us getting two platformers here. Is it, Not that it would be unheard of, but I just feel like the timing's not quite right for it right now. Yeah, I, I have to say I agree. I, I can't point to any specific reason why, but I do kind of just feel it in my gut that we're not going to see Yoshi. As much as I would like to, I just kind of don't think we are. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, do we have any other predictions before we get to Smash? I mean, do, um, we have the, do we have the customary, is this the time they're going to show off Pikmin 4 and Mother 3? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to go yeah. with um, Super Monkey Ball, which is a franchise Ooh. we haven't seen in a very long oh, time. I and wish. it's not I been good in a very long time either. There, <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's your online game. And Sega's been on a roll. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I didn't, even, I, mean, I didn't even mean that one. But, <laughs> 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 but no, with, with the whole Streets of Rage thing, Sonic Mania, Yakuza, Valkyria, all that stuff, like I could see, I could see, maybe Super Monkey Ball seeing a revival. And fun fact, uh, the Monkey Race mode would be a better racing game than Sonic Team Racing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's another point. We could see more of Team Sonic Racing. Yeah. Um, I don't think we will. <laughs> you just sound because, so excited, John. Just because Sig has been so tight-lipped about it, which is silly because there's clearly not that much to show off there. Uh, mm -hmm. I kind of don't think we'll see it just because they've been so secretive about it. Yeah, it's, it's a game I want to be more excited for. So if they do show it, maybe they could raise our excitement a little bit, but... Just the game as it is just doesn't do it for me. Eh, just just port transformed. <laughs> yeah, if, 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 they, if they announce a port of transformed coming the same day, I'll <laughs> just ignore <laughs> uh, team racing and just yeah, get transformed. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do a quick gut shot here on a few of these that uh, I think it was Derek that mentioned. So Pikmin 4, are we seeing it here? No. <laughs> no. Yes. Oh, oh, we got a yes. With with All a right. port of Pikmin 3 as well. Wow. Ooh. That's a that's a interesting prediction there. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, Pikmin 3 would have to be re reworked, so that'd be interesting to see um, exactly what form that takes. I guess, well, I guess I could bring in, like, an on-screen map like they did for Splatoon, yeah. so... Mm -hmm. I'd love for it to be reworked, because the, the setup was so weird oh, on Wii U. Oh, it was horrible. I, no, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's legit one of the reasons why I think I didn't like the game as much as others, because playing with a gamepad in your lap while, like, using the Wii remote on the TV was just awkward as hell. So I hope you're right. I don't know if we're going to see a Pikmin 4 here, uh, mm -hmm. but I think it's something that might, they might sit on. But, hey, if it happens that way, John, I'll be excited. Uh, Metroid Prime 4. Are we getting a teaser for it? A proper teaser? No. No. All right. No, not yet. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Any other upcoming Nintendo games uh, that we could, that we might see here? Well, this, I know I know the answer to this, but I still rain check a mother three. Are we gonna see it? Man, I don't I mean, think so. I mean, that'd be one way to sell the online, but it's not gonna happen. There's your there's your pre-order bonus or your bonus for getting the online is you get you only get Mother Three if you pay for the Switch online. <laughs> that would be huge for a very limited demographic. I know, yeah. seriously. Ah oh, man, as much as I I I don't I don't think it's gonna happen. At least not in this direct. I feel like it's gonna happen eventually, and by eventually I mean sometime between now and the end of time. <laughs> but I don't I don't really I don't think it's gonna happen this time. I really wish it would though. All right, mm -hmm. one more. F Zero. Are we seeing an F Zero here, or Wave Race? Oh. We'll, just, we'll, we'll add both of them in here. Nah. I think we will hear the word "show me your moves," but whether it would be tied to a new F Zero game, I don't know. <laughs> Is it sad that I expect a Wave Race more than an F Zero? <laughs> I have to say though, I don't think that's even that sad, Derek. I wouldn't be. I would not be upset about a new Wave Race game, even if it wasn't. No. Be, you know, it wasn't a new F Zero game. I'd be mm -hmm. very excited about a new Wave Race. Although that makes more sense for the summer, and the summer's kind of ending, so 1080 snowboarding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, one more game. Star Fox Grand Prix. Oh, yeah, oh, great yeah. point. I about that. No, I'm going to say so. that I think that's <laughs> yeah. either next year, uh, like early next year, or, or E3 reveal. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I agree, too. All right. Well, guys, are we ready to finally go into our Smash predictions? I think yep, so. I think so. 
All right, here we go then. I'm gonna take the big one, so I'm just going all in on this. It's Gino time, baby. <laughs> I think it's time. I think we're getting reveal of Gino. I've already laid out the evidence for this before, but it really seems like Sakurai is going by like what fans want for this game, most specifically based on the ballot. We've already seen this a couple times now uh, with characters that were represented in Smash Brothers Wii U as costumes, as DLC costumes, such as with uh, King K. Rule, as well as Marth. Um, and we had a Geno costume as well. We've seen an almost, un well, I'd say unprecedented, but not really unprecedented, but a, a recently strong relationship with Square Enix. I think it's time we are seeing a new Square Enix representative in Smash, and it's going to be Geno. <laughs> Along with, like, you know, his own stage, a whole selection of amazing music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His own well, stage. I can't wait. I, I, I'm totally with you. I cannot wait to see what else they bring with him. And uh, imagine the soundtrack too, because the um, Cloud only came with like two songs, whereas Gino yeah. can come with a plethora of different songs. And ah, oh, I'm really excited to see how they do this. And I am totally with you. I, I think it's time. Yep. I, I don't think it. I don't think it's time. I think Gino. I do think Gino's going to happen. I want to make that clear. I actually really do think Gino's coming, but I don't think it's going to happen tomorrow. I don't think it's going to happen during this direct. I'm thinking that's something they reveal during a another Smash Focus Direct a little later down the line, perhaps next month, to drum up hype closer to the re to the release. But yeah, I think we're we're gonna get a newcomer, but I don't think it's gonna be Geno tomorrow. So who do you think it will be? I have a feeling it may be a Pokemon. I feel like we might get hmm. a Sun Sun uh, Sun and Moon representative tomorrow at the end of the direct. Uh, I don't know who necessarily. I know there's been talk of Incineroar being a very popular choice, so perhaps Incineroar, but I do think that we're going to get a newcomer tomorrow. Only one, but I do think we're going to get one, and I think it's going to be a, a Sun and Moon Pokemon. I was thinking about Incineroar, and um, his Z move would just translate perfectly to a Final Smash. Oh, so yeah. basically, uh, basically what happens is he's in, like, he's in like a boxing ring, and he just sort of slams down on um, on the Pokemon, and just it goes in like a, a giant fiery burst. And it is just, it's so perfect for the cinematic sm um, Final Smash potential they've, they've been going for recently. Mm -hmm. So no, if, yes, if he true. isn't, then that's almost certainly going to be his final smash. Well, and also, you know, the, there was that little news bit recently about uh, Junichi Masuda revealing some sort of Pokemon news this coming Sunday. So I don't necessarily, that you know, they don't have to be related, but there seems to be something afoot with Pokemon. And it could just be, hey, more Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee news. But I don't know. I kind of have a feeling we're going to get a Sun and Moon Pokemon in Smash Ultimate. And I think tomorrow just feels right to me to be the time to reveal that. To, to be 100% honest, I, I think you're probably more right in, in the timing of the predictions. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I, I think Gina might be one they wait for like a for a uh, proper Smash Brothers Direct. But I do want to yeah. get out there. I think Gino is a lock for this game. So Yeah, I think so too. I, I can see him getting a reveal in the same vein as K. Rule. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'm like. That that feels like a he, a big deal at the end of a Smash Focus Direct type of reveal to me. You know, uh, you know what? I'm I'm already I'm just gonna start predicting his trailer because this is what I want to talk about. <laughs> but we're gonna see like a camera slowly pan across like a toy shelf, and it's gonna land on like a shadowy figure. So then gonna then cut to outside where we see a shooting star just start dropping down from the sky. It falls right into the house. Hits, then it cuts inside, hits Gino, the doll, comes to life, bam, there you go. <laughs> You're wrong, you know, nobody dies in that scenario. <laughs> that did that's, get me thinking, though. That's true, not enough death. Yeah, that's true. What if we got a, what if Gino's trailer, what if we got a trailer where it was edited to look like the Smash 64 intro with the hand, like, taking stuff out of the toy box, except uh -huh. this time he takes a Gino figure oh, out? Oh! Ooh, that would be, be so cool. I, okay, I love the throwback, I mean, I love that. The only thing I wonder is... Is if it kind of like reveals it too soon? Like, if you see the Geno doll, yeah. you, you all have to know where it's going. Um, and I don't know if they could play it off the same way they did King K. Roll again, you know? It's so. time. Okay, it's time for Kirby to die. He's riding on his star. <laughs> He's <laughs> riding on go. the warp star. <laughs> and the warp star hits, hits the Geno doll at the end or something like that. And that's what activates I like Geno. It. I kind of like that too. Like, throw people off like they did for the Rosalina reveal trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's, or here, here's the final idea. What if they do the doll idea or the uh, toy idea, Ash? But what if it looks like Wavy's dressed as Link for whatever reason? Like he's, it's you know, like you see him from the back. It looks like a wooden Link doll. Does he already has like similar uh -huh. garb to Link? It's just blue instead of green. And then it fully like you know they kind of just play like you know they use clever angles to disguise who it really is. And then bam, Gino. <laughs> well, you say you say blue instead of green. Link is blue now. Oh, that's a good point. You're yeah, right. Yeah, so, that's also true. Yeah. Well, kind of piggybacking off of what I already said about Incineroar, I might feel like I might as well go ahead and finish my prediction here. And uh, that is, I, I already said that I think we're going to get one newcomer at the end of the Direct, and that's probably going to be a Pokemon from Sun and Moon. Mm -hmm. I also think we're going to get one Echo Fighter during the Direct sometime in the middle of it. 
and I'm thinking it's going to be either Shadow or Isabel. One of those two. I, I've been thinking about Isabel, and I don't know. A lot, a lot of the moves, a lot of her moves, don't really translate that well um, between Villager and her. I don't know if she's ever chopped down a tree. I don't think we ever see <laughs> Isabel doing a lot of this work. And the more I think about it, the more I think Isabel won't be an Echo. I think she'll be an entirely new fighter. Really? Hmm. I just I can't imagine her doing a lot of these moves. I, I kind of like. I think that makes it even funnier, though. I mean, I see what you're saying, but I actually love the idea of Isabel running around swinging an axe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean it sounds trees. amazing. But I, I love know, that. I, I think to be more true to the character, which is what Smash does a lot. I reckon they'll devise an entirely new move set for her. That would yeah. be interesting. Well, then, in, in in which case, like I I don't think she would be revealed as a newcomer tomorrow. So if she's being revealed tomorrow, I do think it's going to be as an Echo Fighter, but that it's going to be either Isabel or Shadow the Hedgehog. Mm. And Shadow is just perfect for an Echo. Like this, you don't oh, need to yeah. change a thing. <laughs> oh, exactly. Yeah. Nothing needs to be different. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, I kind of agree with the general prediction. Like we'll get, I think one one new newcomer, and then at least one new Echo, maybe two. They seem to be. I mean, actually, I, I'm gonna throw it out there. We'll get more than one new Echo. Um, I think okay. so far they've they've been announcing them in groups of uh, Echoes. So mm -hmm. I think we will see uh, at least two. Um, Dr. Luigi. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> that actually... The ultimate clone. <laughs> Jeez. Um, uh, yeah. What else are we going to see beyond characters, though? Do you think we'll... Like, how much time do you think they're going to dedicate to Smash? Is it going to be like a short little trailer at the end? And they're, well, they're going to say the in-depth stuff or another direct? Do you think we'll get any mm -hmm. more details on Spirits Mode? Um, yeah, that's the thing. We don't know a thing about Spirits Mode. I mean, we don't even officially know that it's called Spirits Mode. <laughs> um, right. And they, they kind of glossed over that there are, there are bosses in this game. And we know of Dracula, and we know of Rathalos. But we don't know exactly the, co the context of what they are, or what they do, or how we even face them. So I think if they are going to detail any modes, that's going to be the one. Yeah. And I reckon we'll see even more, um, even more bosses in there too. I don't think we're going to get any modes detailed. I think it's going to be limited to just here's a character, uh, because I think they will want to focus more on other games coming to the Switch and not just keep smashing the minds by having a new character announced, but not really go beyond that. I I'm, I might disagree, because we are almost certainly going to hear about Nintendo Online, as we've talked about already, and what better way to get people hyped for that than by revealing what how Online actually works in Smash Brothers? Show us those modes, show us how it plays, show us like what you can do in the Online of, of Ultimate. I kind of I'm, I'm, I kind of agree with Derek here. I, I don't think we're going to see anything on Smash Brothers other than some characters. Like I think that we're going to get more. I, th I think we're going to get another Smash Brothers news blowout during another Smash Brothers Focus Direct, probably next well, month. We, I, I mean, we're definitely going to get another Smash Brothers Direct. There's no question. Well, yeah, about but that. I mean, I think, mm -hmm. but I think they're going to save that time for that direct and and you know devote this direct to more general things. I don't think we're gonna, we're going to get a lot of Smash news in this direct other than characters. Perhaps any Smash news. Other than games. Yeah. The one, one thing I think we might see is a few more villains, because um, there's definitely a villains theme going on with Ridley mm. and Craig K. Rawl. Right. And um, I was actually just thinking, what if we have Sephiroth for Cloud's villain? Oh. And uh, imagine that his final smash is like the two minute long summon. I mean, <laughs> they don't have to like cut it down. <laughs> but <laughs> that'd be such a neat reference, though, and it's already cinematic. That'd be pretty great. Mm -hmm. That would be. And I mean, it could work. I mean, it really. That Sephiroth could really work as a Cloud Echo. I mean, of course, yes, ideally he'd be he'd be his own character because they do fight differently, but it would still work, and that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. Or Zach. Zach's a perfect Echo. Yeah, Cloud. Zach would be the big Zach one. would be perfect. He would, but the other problem is how well known is Zach? No, totally. Yeah, it's it's, it's hard to say which character they're gonna go with, go with because it go, could go in any way. But I I do agree with Ash that it's, it's probably gonna be a Pokemon. It feels. The time is right is for a new Pokemon, especially with Let's Go coming up. Um, I could definitely see that happening. Geno, I'm so split on whether Geno is actually going to happen or not because, yeah, he was high up on the pole. Yeah, he, this is his best. This is definitely his best chance. But um, I don't know. I just uh, if we're going off co me, uh, me costumes or me fighter costumes from the last game, where's my Tales of Symphonia characters, apparently? Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, they're also attacking characters in me costumes as well. So whether it means something, it's it's hard to say. But, it, I mean, those characters that were me costumes have the potential. Mm. I mean, it, it means Nintendo have the rights to those characters. They can use them. Good point. And so it doesn't, it doesn't deconfirm them. It doesn't confirm them either, though. So mm. Gino being a costume in, 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 in uh, Smash for Wii U 
doesn't mean he's in this, but it does mean he has a chance of being in this. And Sakurai has actually talked about before for uh, past games, maybe it was Wii U, uh, about uh, about Geno specifically. He mentioned something along the lines of how he think he'd be a good fit for Smash, as I recall. Um, hopefully I'm not just making that up. I'm pretty sure he said that. <laughs> and uh, also, Gino is all about granting wishes, okay? So, uh, <laughs> gotta believe, Derek. You gotta believe. I, I'll, I'll try. I try. Um, I'll do my best. <laughs> are you guys? Are you guys subtly hinting at Parappa for Smash when you keep saying you gotta believe? You gotta believe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Any final predictions for anything, whether Smash or anything else we haven't covered yet? You got anything else to lay out there? Do you think we'll see anything of Damon X Machina? I j literally just thought about this. I could actually see there being a little, a little bit of a segment, like a mini segment on it. I could, I could see it, it putting in an appearance, but I don't think it's going to be a major focus. Do we know when that's coming out? Because I, I honestly don't. I haven't really kept up with that I, game at all. I haven't thought about that game since they've shown it off <laughs> back at E3. I know. I think it's um, just 2019. Yeah, if they do show it, I don't think they'll show it for any longer than 30 seconds. It doesn't feel like a game you give much time to. Uh, otherwise, I think I'm tapped. <laughs> oh, actually, one here. more. Yeah. One more. I think we will see uh, a Xenoblade Chronicles X remaster. And Ooh. one of the main reasons I think this is Elmer had some new lines in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 in the new Challenge DLC. And that makes me think they've brought back her voice actress. Uh, and maybe we will get some new content. Because I think, as we all remember, X ended on a little bit of a cliffhanger. And maybe we'll <laughs> finally get that resolved. <laughs> I mean, that'd be nice, uh, but the other thing to counteract that, as much as I want that, love, want it so much, uh, Shulk and Fiora also had new lines when they appeared in challenge mode. And that's why I'm saying there's going to be a Xenoblade renown. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, I do, I do think we get an X um, remaster or an X expanded version of some sorts. I thought about that, but I actually think that they're going to want to highlight the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 DLC and not let the two get in the way of each other. I absolutely do mm. think a port of, of Xenoblade Chronicles X is coming at some point, probably soon, but I don't see it being announced tomorrow only so they don't take any of the focus off of the Xenoblade 2 DLC. I guess I gotta do the hype check. Where are you guys at right now in terms of hype for this direct? I'm pretty, I'm pretty high up on the scale. This is the first general direct in a long time. Um, one of the only ones this year, I think. We've had, yeah. we've had minis, we've yeah. had specific ones, so... And it's a long one, so I'm at a 9. I'm pretty hyped for this. Alright. Yeah, I'm at a 9 as well. I think I'm gonna be... about an 8. I, I'm up there, but I'm definitely... like I always like to stay a little bit conservative with this, unless we know otherwise. The fact that it's 35 minutes is really cool, but I have a feeling a lot of that chunk of time is gonna be spent talking about the stuff we already know about. Yeah, if I truly believe Gino was going to happen in this direct, which again, I think it's going to happen. I'm going all in on that. Uh, I'd be at a 10, baby. However, <laughs> I, I do think the Pokemon thing is more likely a Pokemon newcomer or any other newcomer at this point. Um, especially because we just had another like dream character in the form of King K. Rule, so maybe two back-to-back -back would be too much. So I'm going to come in at 8.5 right now. So, I'm, I mean, I think that's my kind of default for Drex in general. <laughs> like, I'm, yeah. ex I'm excited. You know, I hope I, you know, I, I want to be surprised here. Um, but yeah, we're going to see a lot of stuff we already know about as well, I'm sure. All right, and with that, I think we're about done here. So thank you guys so much for watching the Electro Discussion. Make sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. It's something I never promote, so click that Instagram link instead. You've already subscribed to the others. Follow us on Instagram. Um, you'll find links to all of them in the description below. And of course, stay tuned to Game is Play for lots more about the Direct coming up very soon, tomorrow. And of course, anything, well, depending on when you're listening to this. And of course, everything else Nintendo as well. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.